Okay, this is the third time I tried to make this video. I just don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, just go straight to the topic. Um, the Lord gave me another rapture dream this early morning. Um, so it was like around 3 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning when I suddenly woke up. And then uh, it's because uh, it was because my daughter, uh, she told me she had a nightmare. And then I prayed with her. I said to her that in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, you will not have any nightmare again. Amen. And then she was happy and then she went back to her room. But then after that, I cannot sleep. And just laying there on the bed, my eyes were closed and then I'm still awake. <laughs> and then I knew that in this wee hour, normally Yahushua wants to say something. Want, he wants me to do something. So in the end, I'm, I'm just praying in the spirit and I ask him uh, what he wants me to do. So, and then uh, he wants me to listen to this audio book from um, Jonathan Welton. Is that right? The name, one second. Yeah, Jonathan Welton. Uh, he's a seer, not seer, he's a seer. And then, um, and then uh, because I have experiencing, since I was a baby, experiencing quite a lot of spiritual attack, a demonic attack also, either I'm asleep or I'm awake, but normally when I'm in between. So I need to, to listen also to someone else who also have the same experience because believe, it, believe me or not, I saw what the demon looks like. I will share with you in another video. And then, uh, yeah, so God led me to Jonathan well, uh, Welton, and then I was listening, like, and then after that, um, let's say a half an hour or, or less or more, uh, I fell asleep, and then I have this dream. So in this dream, um, I want to watch some movie with some friends. And then I went there, I drove my car uh, to this very, very dark parking lot. But in the dream, I knew this parking lot by heart. So it doesn't bother me at all. But the, fr the car in front of me, oh, oh, I see, I see angel. <laughs> oh, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> so um, this, um, the, the car in front of me, um, uh, this car uh, didn't know the place very well, so instead of turn to the right, it goes straight to the no, not go straight. Uh, it, yeah, it goes straight, and then the driver knew that he, uh, that I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but the driver knew that uh, he or she took a wrong uh, a wrong way, and then it has to go backward and then go to the the other direction. But I just like, even though it's pitch dark, there's no, no street light at all there. Uh, I only like driving with, the, with, my, with my front light of my car. So I got a parking spot. I parked there and then I bought the ticket from like, I don't know. It's just not like, like, like you go into the building and then you buy your ticket and then you go to the studio. But it's look like I have to buy the ticket in this in this uh like 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 a truck <laughs> actually at the back of the truck they sell the ticket so i just went there buy the ticket as if it is normal i have to do that and then i go uh i went into the to the uh cinema building and then go toward the um uh, the, the the studio the the building itself it's like made of glass uh, glass all is is like like made of glass so I can see through what what actually happening there and it's not not so many people inside there somehow it reminds me of shopping mall instead of uh, cinema building anyway so uh, I went in I'm uh, and then I was greeted by a, a man and he looked like religious I felt like I knew him but I cannot remember where I have met him but anyway, I follow, and then he led me to go to the upper room with a staircase, which is I found very weird. It doesn't suddenly everything is was changed. Doesn't look like a cinema at all. It looks like a building in the end. So, but anyway, I'm just following. I went up, 
and then I arrive in this room the room is all white but there's another chairs also there but I'm not sitting on those chairs but into this it's like like a bench when you when when you go to to a church there there is benches yeah uh, which facing the altar so it looks like that yeah but it is like but but it's a uh, each bench is like like being like like one row one long row uh, let's say it's for 10 people more or less and then for each people it's, it, it was carved the seating the, the seating place is carved it's carved like that if you get what I meant, if not, I have to draw. <laughs> no, I don't want to make another video. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, regarding this, yeah, I don't want to make the, the fourth video. Oh God, please help me. <laughs> so anyway, um, instead of one row, it has two rows, one at the back and one at the front. So I was led by the same person to, to, uh, to sit at the, at, the, at the back row in the middle. So I'm just like, okay, this is kind of weird, but okay i'm just being obedient and i sit there and then there are a lot, another people which i think uh, is kind of friend i have this kind of friendship feeling but if i saw them i don't know them anyway this um after everybody sit there and then this bench is just like shh, go i don't know where but it's just like go so this bench reminded me of church and then the guy who uh, ushered me there, he's uh, he's look very religious. So I believe this is a message that saying the church is going, uh, the church is going. So don't don't give up hope, just keep on pressing in. The church is going. People will laugh at you, calling with your names, um, calling with names. I mean, uh, bad names or other. Maybe some of you uh, have the chance to uh, to read some uh, very, very, very impolite comments uh, on um, on the comment section, which is definitely this kind of people I just block and delete. That's all. I don't have the time to deal with those kind of people. I pray that they have their eyes open and their heart open, but I'm not going to waste my time to debate with them. I just going to use my time to get closer and closer to the Lord. That's all. I that's all I care. So anyway, and then after that, uh, suddenly the scene was, cha was changed, and then I was like, uh, no. If you heard that sound, is uh, the the snow falling down from my roof. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was kind of like an observer more. So and then I saw I so we have a friend who live in JB, Johor Baru, Malaysia. Um, and then uh, is a, a husband and wife. And in this room, I met them there. But strangely, strangely, uh, they become so religious. They become, they're just talking only about Yahushua Mashiach. They just keep on talking, talking, talking about Yahushua Mashiach. Even the husband try to preach to my husband. And this husband, let's say his, his name, starting with M, he started to preaching with a priest robe, like black priest, priest robe with a red color. And he has also a small hat here. And then uh, like, I, I just came up thinking like a bishop or something, but it's a red. And then, and then he also have this, I don't know, it's like, like um, Catholic priest attire. So, but he didn't talk about Maria. He didn't talk about praising the angels, praying to the angels or the holy people. But he only talking about Yahushua Mashiach, how great he is. He is the savior and all the stuff that 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 really really being like like he tried to to tell my uh, my husband about Yahushua Mashiach. And my and my husband looked at him like strange, like with disbelief because. All we know for all this time, he more like atheist instead of believer in Yahushua Mashiach. And then suddenly he just changed. And then, yeah, and then after that, I woke up. So that was a dream. I think the second dream is regarding the uh, what happened in the tribulation. Uh, the people who, the, the unbeliever will start to see the truth. The Yahushua Mashiach is the only savior of the world, the only true God. 
So they start to embrace Yahushua Mashiach and start start to preach. Yeah. It looks like those people who who laughing, who who didn't believe, who didn't really take serious about Yahushua Mashiach in the tribul uh, tribulation time, they will become really, really hot for God. So that's all I want to share with you. Um, let's take this uh, to the Lord. Pray over it. I believe that our time is coming soon. I'm not saying that 31st of January it will be the you know the the end date of our um, existence here. I'm not saying what date is the when the rapture takes place. I am not saying it. I don't know. I only share with you the dream that God showed me, and that's it. Don't start to say a date. Just more concentrate on living in the spirit, pray in the spirit, and keep on pressing and pressing to get closer and more intimate with Yahushua Mashiach. That's all I can say. Yeah. Uh, God bless you and keeps you always. I just say it. I just saw eleven eleven. Well, let's see what it means. <laughs> God bless you and keeps you always. And see you at the next video. Bye.